Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts again. You know, sometimes it looks like we're at a loss. We are at a disadvantage. But think about this. To become acquainted with the glory of God and the sufferings of Jesus Christ, do you realize that it looked like he had totally lost when they put him up on that cross and he died? And the disciples waited three days in heavy, dark mourning, mourning something that was really a glorious, victorious event. But they couldn't see it in the spiritual. They could only deal with that in the natural. God will allow some things to happen to wake many people up. Some of you are sleeping on the job. God wants to use some of you to make changes in this society, to affect it with God's love and God's peace and unity. Some of you are being used by the devil and you're playing into the hands of the enemy and you're putting yourself in dangerous way and you're destroying innocent lives. Not everybody that gets shot deserves to be shot. You and I both know that. Just like not every person, the police shoot, deserves to be shot. So stop playing into the hands. Don't play. Pray. You will be a lot more powerful. God will turn your spears and your, and your daggers and knives into pruning hooks. He will create something of, of destruction and turn it into something of production, beauty, and growth. But you have to be willing to do that God's way. Do you hear what I'm saying? Be very careful how you handle things right in through here. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. This land needs to be healed, you guys. Don't work against God's progress. Don't fight against God now. Because as you fight in a destructive manner with hatred, bigotry, and retaliation, you are, in essence, fighting against the love of God. Now remember, when Jesus died, they mourned three days. But they went back to his tomb and found it empty. Jesus rose from the grave. He's alive to this day. And let me tell you this, baby. He conquered sin, hell, the grave, sickness. He conquered all of that on our behalf. He didn't do it by spitting back, by kicking back, by fighting back. He conquered it through his love and obedience. Love and obey God. Love your fellow man. Forgive, and you will see God's power rain down in ways that you've never seen before. But you have to be willing to relinquish your anger and your rights and give it all to God. God bless you.